everybody, it's Erin Reed, and welcome to my amazing haul video of all the fun things I got at NAMTO, which is Art Materials World. Here is my little badge. The kids are chomping at the bit, and this is why they're super excited to be in the video, because I got some fun stuff for them on the Camex side, which is where all the university supplies were, which includes planners and all kinds of fun stuff. But of course, I picked up some fun candies and some little toys for them, which you will be seeing here shortly. <laughs> So they're super excited to show you all the fun things and don't forget supply lists for all the items I can find are going to be listed down below and without further ado, let's jump in and see all the fun stuff. You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. So I just got back from NAMTA, which is Art Materials World. NAMTA is the organization, the International Art Materials Association, that is in charge of this particular show. I've been to it a few times, and this last one was in San Antonio. And this was the lovely bag that I got. On the back side, it has Bob Ross. You know who Bob Ross is, Brandon? A famous artist. The famous artist, yeah. He was on TV. Have you ever seen any of his shows? Mm -mm. <laughs> so the, their company, Bob Ross, um, they actually go through and they do a lot of education about how to teach people how to paint, which I think is phenomenal. And they were a huge sponsor. That was the very beginning of when I first got there. And I was personally invited to come as a press. This is before I rebranded. So they actually contacted me when I was still Scraps of Reflections. So they came, they invited me to come as press to do my videos and all that kind of stuff. So it was really cool to kind of go and check out of that. So that was super fun. And when I went in and checked in, I got my badge like, Aaron, so nice to see you. So glad you could come. And it's like, it felt like it was really nice. It was really cool. All right. So without further ado, let's check out some of the fun things I got from the show. All right, so one of the other things I did while I was there is I was working with a company called Activa. I was demoing in their booth, and here is a couple of pictures of me in the booth. And I was making this beautiful aloe vera plant of which that video is going to be coming about how I created that. But I was able to take home a package of white hearty clay from them because this stuff is awesome. Have you guys used like this before? Do you like yes, it, Brennan? It's, really it's pretty fun, right? It's yeah. an air dry clay. It is super lightweight and it is fantastic. So I was able to bring home another package of that. Another fun company that was there, it was Copic. Uh, I actually walked up to the booth and they knew who I was. They were super excited. They're like, we watch your videos. We love it. I'm like, I don't use much of your markers. Like, we can totally change that. And so I got some fun things. So they have a bag and inside the bag, we got some fun things. I got a Copic sketch marker. This one is RV10, really pretty light pink color. I love it. I also got one of their Copic Chow. BV23, a lovely gray color. This one's got two nibs on the end, which so you got a brush tip. Uh, also got a little Copic pen sticker. I love that. And then um, they also, the, the big thing that they were promoting was how to draw manga. So they had a manga artist from Japan and I actually have them on video. So we did do a video. There was a little bit of a translation issue because she doesn't speak a whole lot of English, but she did phenomenal. And her coloring, I tell you what, is the bomb it is awesome so these are just some of the fun things that are in this little book they also had a happy hour so that's what this was about so mcpherson's and uh, copic were sponsoring a happy hour the last day i was there which was on monday and so i got a chance to go and this was the cups that we got so i actually ended up getting two drinks so copic was on one side and the other one it says mcpherson's so the two corporation so whenever you see this two corporation that's the name of the company in japan and copic is what we call it here in the united states so since i was helping out with the video and she was super excited. She kept stopping me going, you need to come do a video. I, it, it was really kind of cool that a big company like Copic knew who the heck I was. It was pretty fun. So she comes up, she opens this box after we're done the video. She goes, I need to give you something. And, you know, it's, it's amazing they're coming to help. She gave me this box. And what this is, is this is a special edition box, 30th anniversary colors, and it's only being released for this 30th edition like you cannot get these markers anywhere else and she gave them to me so i just think that is so cool she's a classic 30th there's a broad and a fine tip and there's 12 colors and they all say the 30th anniversary on there so i just thought that was so totally amazing and look at the pretty colors that are on there so much fun so you know i'm definitely going to be using these because i have been telling everybody my big thing for this year is to learn how to color better so now i've got my little start and i'm wondering she said that these colors were very very different so for instance this is rv so we have rv10 rv30 so very different i don't even know if you can get those anywhere else i'm excited i love it so thank you so much copic truly appreciate that Another company that was there was Ranger, and this is their Quick Cure Clay, and it is pretty cool. This is a kiln-free, all you need is your heat gun, and it sets. Jamie was there, and we have a demo. That video is coming soon about how she was using the... Uh, 
alcohol inks, the pearls and the original alcohol inks with the Crit Cure Clay. She was also watercoloring with them or ink alcohol coloring with them, however you want to call it. But so they were having, the big thing they were promoting was all the quick, quick cure clay. I can't say that very fast. And the alcohol inks and how beautiful it is. And she was working on this gorgeous sculpture. And there is a introduction video. So there is one that is already live as I was walking through. The quality is not that great. So I'm so sorry for everybody who is watching my two live videos I did. The internet there was just atrocious. And so I stopped filming live and just did recorded videos. And that is what's going to be coming up. Um, but there is a recorded video and kind of a recap of what I did when I walked into Ranger with Jamie, which was so fun. So that was another fun thing. Another wonderful company is called Paper Blanks, but they also have another called Paper O Company. They're all these beautiful journals and they let me bring home a ton of them. There is a video coming on them about all their gorgeous journals and what they're all about. Just take a look. Take a look at these fabulous journals. I mean, they're so gorgeous. And what you can do with them is endless. I just think they're just, and there's texture to the front of the book. It's so cool. They come in a whole bunch of different sizes. There's lines. I only have the lined ones with me, but they also had um, bullet journals. Uh, they also had plain. They had calendars. They had a whole bunch. But just look at the artistry. And they were talking about how on the back, you also have a little bit about what the author did on the front of the book and why that that's the inspiration. So all the ones that have the artistry on the front, you get kind of a story behind why that piece of art is on the front. So of course, I had to pick some blue ones, and this one is just gorgeous. And then they have the Paper O books, which are um, just a plain front cover or a dot front cover. This one is unlined, and it has a little bit of front cover flap. Let's open it and take a look. So this is the Paper O books. You've got a little bit of a magnetic closure here, and then it opens up, and this is what the blank pages look like. Look how gorgeous. So it's great for a little art journal. It also comes with a little um, bookmark on here, and it just it's really cool. I mean, I just think these books are so fun, and a ton of different sizes. So I, there's a larger size than this. There's medium size. This is one of the smallest ones, the A7, but there is a range of sizes. I want to say there's like six different sizes, also along with this size as well. So as always, links for all the supplies that I can find will be down below. Oops. So make sure you check those out. All right, a company called Artist Magazine was there, so artistnetwork.com, and they had a whole bunch. This is their magazine that they put out. It's all about different kinds of artwork and just really cool stuff. I haven't even had a chance to look at that yet, but they were passing out free books. So this one is all about draw and paint magical creatures, and it's kind of like a how-to guide about some basic stuff, and they said, take one home. So I thought you would like this, Brandon. What do you think? Uh-huh. Yeah, you like this one? Yeah. So you like drawing, don't you? Yes. And aren't you in an art class right now, a drawing class? Yes. Yeah, is it fun? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So you and your sister are in that. But it's showing some kind of ideas about how you can go through and do some artistry and some fun techniques and just some ideas. Uh, this one is all about teach yourself how to draw in 30 lessons. So it's, you know, going through how to go basic sketches, adding dimension, all different kinds of drawing, um, a little bit of everything in these. This one I thought was kind of fun, how to make expression drawing faces, so very cartoon-like. That's more your alley, right? Mm -hmm. More your thing. So how to go in and I don't even know if I could recreate these, but they're pretty cool. They're pretty fun. But how to do mouths, teeth, eyes. There's even one in here about wrinkles. And then I picked up this one. It's like the best of mixed media. So this was a hardcover book that just looked really cool. And it had some really kind of fun ideas in there. So I was able to pick all these up. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Artist Magazine for providing all these amazing books. Another company that was there is super tight. You guys know I work with them. And so I was able to bring a few bottles of glue home, including I was running low on a couple of them. Oh, one, one bottle I did not have, one variety. This is the Super Grip Ninja adhesive. Also the Fusion Tack. I had a little bottles, but now I've got a nice big bottle. And I was just running low on a couple other ones. So I was able to pick up a few more things from Super Tight. He is so super generous and amazing. I love that company. Another company that was there is Paint Pucks. And you guys have seen me use these. And I had a blue and a green one, but I was able to pick up this version. You put these in your bottom of a cup with some water, and it's how you clean your paintbrushes. And they are just cool. But I love the packaging they did on this. It makes it look like it is an ice cream cone. It's so cute. So here is a couple of versions of these. So they really are an amazing cleaner for your paintbrushes, and they are fantastic. So I was able to grab a couple more because they are super kid-friendly as well. So as the kids are painting, instead of having all these paper towels out and ruining your brushes, and basically to take the paintbrush and with the water, it gets in all little grooves and it really gets all the little fibers and all the paint, all the paint out of all the fibers of the paintbrush. So super fabulous. 
Another company was that, that was there. They had these little, um, they had buttons they were passing out, but they also had little bobbleheads and they were for all different famous artists, um, but also various types of artists. I mean, they, they were working on getting a Bob Ross, but they had a Frida and stuff, but I picked up a Marie Curie and a Beethoven. I just thought those ones look really cool, but they were bobbleheads, but I just got the pins, but they were really kind of fun. So that was a little fun stuff. Now let's get into the fun stuff. And Brandon has been dying to show you a couple of the fun things he picked up. Now we, there's two versions of the show. One is Namta, which is all the stuff here, but there's also KMEX. And on the KMEX side was actually where I found these journals. They have, it's all about uh, colleges. Um, this is the last year they're going to be combined together. So I'm no longer going to get to go to the fun side of the show that has all these doohads and doohickeys. The paint companies don't give out these little squeezy head things. They're more interested in giving you out a sample of paint and stuff. So for this one, what we got and there's a couple other variations and just little fun things i picked up this one for my daughter it's a pen it's got a little squeezy unicorn on it this one's from poppets so these little fun guys came from a company called total computing solutions so is anything that you would be able to use in your bookstore at the college campuses that's what the other side of the show is all about so sometimes they have little fun things and you think this is fun right yeah yeah he's been playing this he's been dying yeah. to take this <laughs> i picked up this one for my son for my oldest son but yeah brandon's getting this little guy it's pretty cool so he wanted to join the video because I told him he can't have it until after I'm done giving, showing everybody the fun things I got. But now it's all yours, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so also on the other side, which is the KMX side, they have some food items and some fun stuff. These ones are some, they're like mixes that what you do. And they're so fun. They're so delicious. These are seasonings that you mix with oil and then you put them on just plain old saltine crackers or any other type of cracker, Ritz crackers, oyster crackers, whatever you like. This was one of the little ones that they gave us, but they had these ones done. So that's what these big plastic bags are. So we're going to be making them and probably giving them away as like little like teacher gifts or something uh, throughout the year. But they're just a really cool snack. Oh, I've totally forgot about this. So I was also given this as I was leaving on my last day. They had these sitting out. So our matters the art uh, advocacy I got a little coffee cup which I think is fantastic so it's just a thermal coffee mug and then I also got a luggage tag with a chinga it's fantastic so I got those from the actual NAMTA organization so that I picked up as well um, another company that was there was Marvi Yukuda. So this is their Le Pen, the Flux Le Pen. They were not doing any kind of demo or anything, but they said, yeah, take a couple. These are awesome. And yeah, I love the Le Pens. These are pink. And he said, yes, please take a couple. That's what they're for. So we got a couple of Le Pens from Marvi. I also got a couple of dry erase markers from Crayola. So they had a, um, an art center that you could go do and they had a big, so instead of having a booth, they just had a whole bunch of their products sitting out and you could mark her and then you could take a couple of samples if you wanted. So I picked these up because, you know, I have a little dry erase thing that is right by my desk to kind of take notes on and these will come in super handy for that. Jelly Belly was there and I learned a fun little thing. Uh, apparently there's two flavors. One is licorice, the other one is buttered popcorn, and either you love them or you hate them. And they both rank in the top three. <laughs> so either it's your go-to flavor or it's your hated flavor. And I definitely fit in the category. I'm a licorice lover. I love licorice, but I'm not a fan of the buttered popcorn. I just think that's funny. Brandon, what about you? Which one are you? Popcorn. You like the butter popcorn? Yes. Do you like the licorice? Uh, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. You, kind do, of. Kind of, so you will eat it? Maybe. <laughs> That's a no. Uh, some other companies were there also with candies. This is one from Albany's little gummy bears. So of course I had to pick up three to get pass out to the kids. So they got some gummy bears. That's why there's lots of three sets of threes and everything. He's already trying to snag it. Another company was there. It's called Pure Vita and they were passing out these little bracelets. I think they're fantastic. They're just so cute. Um, they let me pick out the colors and these are just little hemp bracelets that you can obviously tighten and loosen and they're just cool. I just think they're all kinds of fun. So I'll be wearing these. And of course I had to pick out a green one and this one was more like blues with a little bit of purpley in them. But I just think they're so much fun. It's just so pretty. I mean, just look, it's just easy and gorgeous. Another company was there. This one is called Good Works and this is a wrap bracelet. So you actually take the bracelet and you wrap it around and I was wearing this for a portion of the first day as I was walking around and then you just kind of loop it in. It's very, very easy. A little harder to do it yourself. Brandon, you want to help me? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to go through the other hole for me? And then pull that piece. So this is a wrap bracelet. And the cool thing about it is that written all over it, it says good works and it says remarkable, um, relevant, um, 
one of a kind, smart. It's all words of inspiration, which I just think is absolutely beautiful. So this one says amazing. So lots of beautiful sentiments and, and items and things that you can say on a bracelet. So I was walking around with that item for a little bit. Uh, another company was there it's called Naked Bee, and I actually have a little boo-boo on my hand. My hands were dry from just washing them so much while I was demoing, and so I got some samples of their hand lotion. So another thing I was walking by, and I had a, a charging cord because I was constantly having my phone next to, or charging on an external charger, and the guy says, you need a 10-foot charging cable because I was just a tiny bit short. And so he handed me this beautiful pink charging cable. It's a fast charging 10-foot, I mean, it was it was fantastic. And so we had a little chat about that, and so thank you. I really, truly appreciate that. You guys rock. The last little fun thing I got um, was a chapstick. <laughs> and so I walk in, and it's in one of the art booths. It's actually on the NAMTA side, on the art side. I walk in and it was a company that had a whole bunch of paints and stuff and then they also had a coffee cart and I'm seeing all these little chapsticks sitting there and I'm like what is going on and it turns out I was like trying to figure out if it was something with, with coffee or whatnot and he comes up and he's like yes this is the, the year of the Rembrandt he's like yes this is the original you know um, chat or lip gloss formula that Rembrandt and I'm like seriously you gotta be kidding so he was like yeah you totally caught me and big joke we just decided to put the artwork in the year of the Rembrandt on the actual chapstick so it's just a little chapstick, but they put the artwork on it with it, which I thought was kind of fun. So anyway, a little fun story to go with that. So they're jumping at the bit to get all the little gummy bears and their jelly bellies and, you know, their little squishy dudes. So they're, they're super excited about getting all these things. So thanks so much for stopping by and checking out all these amazing products from these wonderful companies that were super generous and passing them along. I really, truly appreciate it. Links are down below for you to find most of these supplies, that, as many of them as I can find. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for the not further notifications of my videos. And I will see you guys again soon. Do you guys want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye, everybody.